Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more fighter subscriber where I have challenged you to see if you can outdo me in the fine art of fighter design. And I think we firmly established by now that you can, so it's just a case of working out who can give me the biggest kicking. Entries to the competition are now closed. Uh, there's still like two or three more streams to go before all of the preliminaries are out of the way, but there are a handful of craft who've done so well in that that I think we can safely say they're through to this round. So um, yeah, let's go and meet another one. This is the LF-71A Karakara? Karakara? It's, it's the LF-71A by Script Kitty. Your script Kitty? I, oh, for God's sake. It's in the description. It's a single Saturn engined craft. Uh, the wings are a little bit wing sandwichy, but I decided on balance the craft as a whole is just the right side of the rules. Um, yet again, another craft with two GAL-22 cannons, and it complements this with six AMRAMs and four Sidewinders. With just the one engine, it doesn't quite have the oomph of some other craft, but it's plenty fast enough, it's plenty manoeuvrable enough, and it is very, very stable. I mean, even at low speeds where it goes super manoeuvrable, it was surprisingly easy to control for a single engine craft. Anyway, we're not here to just talk about this craft, so uh, let's get down to business. The first challenge for the LF-71A then will be the oldest craft in my lineup, my Red Hawk. Uh, although it has had a bit of a tweak and a tune before this uh, before this season. Uh, as ever, part bleed mode will be on for this fight, but I'll, uh, I'll turn that on a bit closer to the time. Let's get this one going. The competition starts and I will get uh, straight on with the dogfight camera, just, just so I don't get shouted at in the comments. Um, yeah, so the LF-71A, the fourth craft to go this season, and the fourth craft which got a, uh, a perfect result in its preliminaries. Although, um, yeah, it's been quite a bit of a mixed bag for the uh, the craft that have gone so far. They've all tended to do quite well. But yeah, there has been a, a bit of variation in them, so obviously, um, obviously getting a perfect result in the preliminaries is no guarantee that you'll just roll over my craft here. Particularly the spike tails, they have done now, uh, they have been doing very well so far. The LF-71A, do we not have, is this one of these cockpits that you can't see? Adam Kerwin, yeah, it's one of the cockpits where you can't see the kerbals. Mm. So that's going to be um, <laughs> not quite as helpful as usual to, uh, to working out who's who. Turns around. Adam Kerwin turns around. <laughs> see, like that. Adam Kerman comes around, bearing down upon the uh, the Red Hawks. Has selected Sidewinders. Does have some left over. Oh my God! One of the LF 71As has taken damage. It's first blood to the uh, to the Red Hawks. Adam Kerman switches targets, picks a target, fires a short range Sidewinder. That does very well. How are the? Um, I don't think doesn't look like any of the 71As. Oh, that one suffered a bit of damage. One of the Red Hawks is gone. And one of the LF-71 days is most definitely gone. Hmm, two apiece. Interesting. That seem to be pretty evenly matched so far, not just in terms of the uh, not just in terms of the score, but um, the LF, the Red Hawks, and the LF-71 A's both seem capable of putting in some damage. Although, yeah, bit of a joust there. Oh, god. Okay, no, no. The LF-71 A's definitely better at turning. I think is that a Red Hawk as well? Yeah. LF 71A is definitely on the uh, on the upper foot here. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. I that craft seems to be going quite low. Is that no? It's just the Red Hawk. I thought that was the other LF 71A. The other LF 71A. Nope, in perfect health. So a good, if not perfect, start for the LF 71As. Let's see how they um. Let's see how they get on in the next fight. After a shaky start there, the LF-71A certainly showed what it had, but uh, now it comes up against what's definitely been my deadliest craft this season, my spike tail. Let's, um, let's get this one going. Time to turn and face the opponents once again. Steak Kerm on this time, I had to go and check. Uh, getting around quite quickly and getting away a volley of a few AMRAMs. Uh, now, um, breaking low. So, the spike tails have won, uh, Two out of their three fights so far this season. Yeah, they are, after the little bit of tweaking and refitting I've done uh, between seasons, definitely the most manoeuvrable of my craft. Uh, no missile hits so far. I'm not really expecting any, because both these craft have demonstrated they are more than capable of um, 
Well, apart from that LF-71A <laughs> early in the next fight, maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's, uh, yeah, dogfight camera as well. Because, um, it's, it's, mm, a little unreliable, but uh, people seem to prefer it with that one. Oh my god, one of the spike tails just taking a really bit, just completely forget what I was saying about missile avoidance there. <laughs> One LF, one spike tail gone to missiles, two spike tails gone to missiles. One left. Just about manages to avoid that one. Oh god, has one of the LF 71s on his tail. And the attention of two more. Hang on, one of them's. One of them's gone. One of them's gone. It's it's friendly fire. But it, uh, it will still count, but. Um, yeah, the remaining spike tail finished off with ease by the remaining two healthy. LF-71As. Huh. That was, um... That was quick. <laughs> okay. That was... That was brutal and un unnecessary. Anyway, yeah, let's, um... Let's move on to the final fight. Looking good so far, then, for Script Kitty's Craft. I did go and check as to how you're supposed to say it, although I didn't check about the Kara, Kara thingy. Maybe should have done. Anyway, yes, they go up against my Lynxes. Previously, I would have rated these my best craft, but uh, some shortcomings in their design are sort of starting to tell now. Anyway, let's um, let's get this one going. Here we go then, and the LF seventy one A's just need a win of any description in this combat, in this um, in this fight to put them at least joint top. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> they really did muller my spike tails. Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god, two of the Lynxes just rammed each other. Oh, Christ. <laughs> it is not a good day for my craft. It really is not a good day for my craft. One of them lost two parts. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. The other one, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I think that must be the one that lost two parts, still doing not too badly. Josh Kerman here. I was about to say, his craft looking perfectly healthy. Hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, but like, like Kerman seemed to do quite well in avoiding the, um, in avoiding the gunfire coming in for him. That slight... Lack of uh, wing surface might harm him in just manoeuvring. Oh god, here come the Gal 22s. There goes an engine. There goes the rest of the craft. <laughs> oh, I think they kind of dug their own grave there, uh, the Lynxes. Anyway, yeah, let's um, let's go look at how this all ended up. Very, very impressive from the LF-71A there, and if we bring up the leaderboard we can see that it doesn't have to settle for joint top, no, with uh, with 9 kills and 7 survivors, that puts it on 16 points, way out in the lead there on its own. Um, also, the dreaded dotted line about to come into play, so next video we will know the name of the first fighter of the 12 that sadly will not be joining us for this season's final. A big, big thank you to Script Kitty for this craft. Um, as I mentioned at the start of the video, entries for this season are now closed. But I'm still doing the regular mailbag stream, so uh, chuck me uh, chuck me a fighter and we'll have some fun with it on there. Um, but that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, then please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, great KSP and BD Armoury community on there and more besides. Um, all those links in the description, as are links to uh, the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your own little patron kerbal like I've been using here, although the portraits have been missing for most of the fights. Um, as well as your name at the end of videos, uh, access to the patron only Discord, that kind of thing. I will be back soon with some more fighter subscriber. Until then, though, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.